Hello, my friends. I'm Tamara Zoner. It is Monday, and I am here to remind you how much you matter. There's a big push toward pleasure right now in the personal development space. Pleasure is so important. Finding those things that light us up and feeling uplifted because of them and feeling the energy that they provide. And sometimes we can misconstrue our need for pleasure with a need for comfort. Comfort's great. I love to be comfortable. I love fuzzy pajama bottoms and socks. I love a good cozy bed and nice smushy pillows. My cat loves to be comfortable. She's on my lap right now. And comfort doesn't always make us feel alive. Part of what our journey here on earth in my perspective is to grow, to learn. And we don't necessarily grow or learn when we're comfortable, right? The growth happens in the discomfort. Think about a good workout. We can be more comfortable sitting on the couch all day long, but our bodies eventually will start to break down and be very uncomfortable. So we exercise to not only support our physical health, but also our emotional and mental health. And in exercise, there is bound to be discomfort. I believe truly that we have to move in and out of comfort regularly, like multiple times a day. And we have to do that in all areas physical, mental, and emotional. When I'm doing my daily yoga, sometimes the most incredible pose and release is also the most uncomfortable. The deepest stretch, the longest hold, the balance ones that I inevitably fall out of. <laughs> this is part of that discomfort is learning how to fall out of balance and then return to it. Can we be comfortable with the fall? As comfortable as we are with the return to stability. When we are willing to embrace that dance, then life becomes more beautiful. So I wonder what hard thing or uncomfortable thing could you challenge yourself to do today? Perhaps it is meditation where for some of us, it's very hard and very uncomfortable to sit in stillness or in quiet reflection. For some of us, taking a walk in the cold can feel very uncomfortable because we don't like the cold. We like to be warm and cozy and comfortable. But when you get out there, you start to notice the crisp air, the leaves that are still colorful or the way that the Leaves pile on the ground, maybe sticking out from the snow if you're somewhere where it's snowed recently, like I am. You notice the chill, but in that chill, you also feel your aliveness. It's the discomfort and the contrast between that and comfort in which we find our vibrancy. This is your short and sweet Monday message to remind you that you matter and that that willingness to move in that space of comfortable to uncomfortable, pleasure to the unpleasurable is all okay and it's all safe and it is life. If you are constantly comfortable, you are numb. You are probably not that comfortable at all. You're just not aware of the discomfort because you're numbing with TV or movies or drugs or alcohol or what other tool you use to numb out. And again, that's not to say that sometimes we don't need to just shut down. We all do once in a while. We can do that. It's okay. And it's not how we live. 
And so because my desire for you is to live a fully expressed life, I want to remind you that it also matters to be willing to be uncomfortable, to be willing to have the thoughts that scare you and the experiences that require you to exercise that courage muscle. You've got it. You can use it. You're worthy of this beautiful, fully expressed life. And today I hope you take some time to challenge yourself and notice the mental, physical, and emotional sensations that come up when you do. And then I'd love for you to come back and tell me what hard thing you did today. What stretched you? What pushed you a little? How did you step into your own discomfort? And how did you grow from it? Or maybe you didn't. But maybe, just maybe, it felt really good. I'd love to hear about it, read about it in the comments below. I'm Tamara Zoner, reminding you how much you matter, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you again tomorrow.